And now the last one, Antonia. Uh, Antonia, as you are also 10 minutes, I'm so sorry to, to present another. So the, the slides are already there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's, the floor is yours, working. yeah? Okay. My name is Antonia Bogardi. I'm the head of research and project coordinator of this uh, wonderful project. Circular City Challenge. So my team of uh, eight experts uh, and myself got uh, funding from European Commission to come up with a curricula for uh, high school students to teach them about sustainability and uh, circular economy, right? So more precisely, we would build a pilot contest based curricula. We would connect kids with the local policymakers um, so uh, the reason why European Union uh, gave us this funding and as so many other similar projects is it's going to be million of new jobs in green industry in next year. So from 2018 to, to, uh, to 2030, 18 new million, 18 million new jobs in, in green, green industry. The trick is that we don't have enough skills that are offered for this green transition. Right. So therefore, we need this kind of programs. Uh, so we started uh, eagerly to uh, develop that curricula and we did uh, many workshops with students to ask them about their needs. We asked many experts what to teach about circularity. We asked teachers what do they need. Uh, we asked also uh, future employees in the green industry what are their needs. and. You might it it we got few challenges with uh, with that insights. So how to develop curricula that uh, doesn't burden already overburned teachers, right, and students? How to get students' voices to be hear, heard in in curricula? How to um, teach properly about these topics? So we were thinking and thinking, and we came up with the, these three pillars for what we do. So we decided to engage system thinking skills. I'm going to short uh, describe what that is. Uh, so we're going to teach system thinking uh, about sustainability and circularity. We're going to employ inquiry-based learning and contest-based learning. So just shortly, what's the diff what systems thinking? So and does this diagram on the left, you see old linear thinking that is not working so much well, especially in policy making and in intervention in, in any system. So it says, oh, there's intervention and then we do some kind of change, education, policy, whatever, and there is an outcome. In reality, it's much more complex than that. That's why we need to learn com uh, complex adaptive system thinking, where we understand what are the elements of the system, what are the interlinkages, right? And there is what are the principles of navigating this system? Uh, and then we can maybe get closer to the outcome and see the consequences of our actions. So this is what we think it's necessary. Second thing is inquiry-based learning. You're familiar with that term. This will allow us, allow us that teachers can take our curricula that are not necessarily uh, educated and trained in sustainability and circularity, right? So no additional training needs. And we will, of course, provide handbooks and other tools. And uh, we're through a, a participatory contest, we also... We're going to have a pilot this year in September uh, to the June next year. And we're, this is our way to uh, hear young people with their uh, projects and connect them with the local policymakers. And the whole curricula here, pilot, will uh, comprise of a few steps. So kids will identify the circularity challenge in their uh, local context. So they're going to use their local knowledge. They're going to map the actors and the elements of these systems. They're going to think about the interlinkages. And then we're going to ask them to redesign that system and to come up with some plan or action and submit it. 
this is a example of stakeholder map in a system, right? And they, they, would, they will circle then what part of the system they have some kind of impact on and work with that. And this, uh, then we're going to have a nice award ceremony with the contestants. And this is how I imagine it to look like. Uh, I kindly invite you to join. Uh, there's some uh, uh, promo material uh, on these boxes and contacts. Um, so we can contact us and my consortium is six countries in Europe uh, already engaged in this. Um, and these are the out, yes, thank you, Phil. Uh, what I deeply care about are these outcomes of the project. So for students, they're gonna go away with system thinking skills, with um, knowing how to organize teams, how to work together, and they're gonna go away with very relevant uh, information about their uh, green job careers, opportunities for those careers. Also, the concept is gonna be flexible. So you don't have to burden your hours with that. It can be used as homework. It can be used for science fairs, for uh, project weeks, green weeks, all these summer schools, additional activities, school clubs, right? So it's not going to have to produce burden and the learning outcomes are going to be in line with uh, learning uh, outcomes in for in uh, national requirements and teachers are going to have 100 percent support in this pilot contest they're going to have support directly with real persons with my consortium members and later on they're going to be uh, handbooks and web platforms that can support this kind of um, learning, teaching. Uh, yeah, so join us for the contest. We start September this year until June next year. Uh, there are going to be really cool rewards for teachers and for students, except the knowledge. Uh, and I hope to see you at the party in fall 2024. Thank you.